What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Burn Down YouTube channel. So, we are out here once again for the final in the Pacer rear end saga with the Ford 8.8. If you have a Pacer, which you probably don't, or maybe, hell, maybe you do because you're watching this, I got the recipe for you. So, it is a 2002 Mustang rear end. You strip it down, you weld the old perches on, and then you go find yourself an early ranger and you steal the u-bolts and these work so well that you don't technically even need the pads i just got these today as a just in case so i didn't have to go back but these actually these u-bolts will fit through the old chingaderas which should bolt this right on down so what we're gonna do uh today i've already test fit this i'm gonna spoiler alert and then we'll pretend like i was really cool and i i nailed it but um, I test fit it and the thing fits like a glove. So uh, we are going to weld the pads up, let it cool off a little bit, maybe spritz this thing uh, right here in the old driveway. And then you and I will slide it underneath. I don't know if I have any paint. I don't know how froggy we want to get. But anyway, you and I will slide it underneath and we should be able to put the U-bolts and all that fun stuff on. And I would like to put tires back on it. And this thing has been on jack stands in that state for quite a while. So... What I would like to do is take it off jack stands and see how she sits uh, with weight. And then next order of business will be to measure for a drive shaft. So I'll just take a measurement for that. And then we'll have to get that done uh, like next week. And then we'll move on to other stuff. But let's uh, get rolling. Let me weld these things up. We'll kind of spritz this thing off. And then you and I will hustle it and struggle putting it in by ourselves. Here is another pro tip. When you're rinsing off your junkyard rear end, and your driveway slopes downhill and to the left put it somewhere where all the runoff isn't going to go where you're going to be working unless you want to work in mud sometimes i do things to myself that i probably shouldn't i forgot to time lapse the struggle but you guys can imagine what a 140 pound dude looks like moving 140 pound rear end so snuck it in there oh so pretty she's just sitting sitting and waiting so we need the u-bolts we will bolt it down i think the shock should bolt back in place i mean i couldn't write a better story so let me get this bolted down and then i'd like to kind of put a wheel on and like i said i'd like to see this thing back on the ground uh just for my own sanity probably for my neighbor's sanity and then uh we're gonna call it a win we got these bolts torqued down Look at these guys, right back in the OG spot. Man, oh man. Woo, look at that. And we already slapped one of these bad boys on here. Look at this thing. It's ready to do burnouts. And we've got, we've got some room. So let me put the other tire on. We'll lower it down to the earth. And like I said, we'll take the front down too and just take it all in. We're gonna take it in the victory BAM behold the glorious pace look at that look at this it's magnificent it really is who would have thought be a bolting deal look at whoo look at all this room we got for activity still i mean we've got we got some room we got some room behind it we got some room behind this i mean look at all that look at all that fun look at all that fun space that's cool if we decide to Actually try to carve some corners and stuff. We could fit a decent tire. I'd, I bet it'd take a 275. We're gonna have to hit up Turbo Joe and borrow one of his and stuff it on the back and get a get a look at it. But look at this thing. Whew, track width and everything. Man, oh man. Come and get you home. 
All right. Thank you guys for following along. Watching this, if you have a pacer, that's a ticket in my opinion. So, take in the glory. Till next time, you guys know what to do. I'm out. You do, boy, if you with me. The police are gonna have to come and get me off your ass. That's how I'm going out for the pump mother. They're going out when I'm in your neighborhood. You better duck, cause I skew this crazy ass. As I leave, believe I'm something. I'm coming straight out of college.